My name is Trey Baker. I'm a very, very raw prospect coming out of Louisville. And the Falcons decided to take a chance on me in the second round because, you know, their quarterback situation is kind of crazy. I mean, who in the world wants Desmond Ritter as a quarterback? So, yeah, it's my time to shine. In my NFL debut, I'll be going against Bryce Young, another rookie quarterback, but he was the number one pick. We're going to see who better. Now, the expectations for me on this team isn't real high, so I can't let the team down. Now, growing up in Texas, my whole life has always been all about football. Whole family love football. So I grew up in a football family, obviously. And I have been a quarterback for as long as I can remember. And also, my little brother has been a wide receiver for me basically our whole life. Middle school, you know what I'm saying? Little league, high school, all that. We have always been on the same team. And I've been throwing dots to him our whole life. And with us being teammates basically our whole life, our chemistry has been amazing. I mean, high school, we almost won the state championship, though we were not able to do it because, you know, defense kind of sold us a little bit. But the whole high school was amazing. Then we went to college to the same college. We both went to Louisville. We went crazy on that team. We were not able to get to the national championship, but, hey, we still went crazy. And when I say we, I mean mainly him because... I wasn't really having too good of seasons. I, I'm a very aggressive passer. I was compared to a Josh Allen type of quarterback with my aggressiveness. Sometimes it leads to picks. I like to run the ball a lot. And I got a pretty good arm, but I need to learn how to, you know what I'm saying, calm down on the aggressive passes. But even with my aggressive passing, he just made the plays. Like, he was just that good at catching the ball that my aggressive passes, he still found a way to, you know what I'm saying, make the play. But now being drafted to the Falcons, the expectations is really just to be better than Desmond Ritter, and I know I can definitely do that, especially when I have people like B. John Robinson on my team, Kyle Pitts on his team, Drake London. It just doesn't make sense why Kyle Pitts didn't get the ball last season, but I'm going to make sure he gets that ball. So like I said, I'm a very aggressive quarterback. If I see my number one target has one person on him that's not supposed to be guarding him or anything, I'm going to force it to him. So Kyle Pitts is going to get a lot of targets while I'm on this team. Now, I'm a pretty raw prospect, though, because my accuracies aren't that good, which I can definitely fix throughout this season, but they definitely need to be fixed. But anyways, being on this team with this many weapons, I know I'm going to be able to do something with this. And here, I'm getting this big first down while getting hit, throwing it to my number one target, Kyle Pitts. He's going to have a great season, I promise you. But if we want to win games, one of the main things we got to be able to do is run the ball. And B. John's going to have to get going, and the O-line going to have to start blocking because we're going to need the run. Because if we end up in situations where it's third and 10 like this, and I'm trying to throw the ball and almost throwing a pick, I think they ran into each other or something, but we can't have that. And in this first game against the Panthers, there's like no offense going on. I mean, they pass rush is just amazing. Yeah, their defense is great. But on third and 13, y'all already know who I'm throwing this ball to. If it's ever third down and I need somebody, Kyle Pitts is going to be there every time. Getting them in the scenes for a first. Trying to get our run going on first and 10, and B. John is actually going to get this first down, getting more than that, and then getting taken down. We got to do that more. We got to get first downs off of runs because passing not working right now. Second and 10, run the read option. I thought I got him, but there was a second read defender, and he tackled me. This time on third down, I'm stepping up in the pocket and throwing his dot to Drake London. He's making a great catch in traffic for the first. Now I'm first and go running the read option, and they left me open, getting an easy walk-in touchdown for my first HUD in my NFL career. Up 10 to 7 in the fourth quarter, and we probably shouldn't have ran a play action because three pass rushers got off their blocks and I got hit by two of them. Third and 21, and y'all know who this ball is going to. Throwing it over the top to Kyle Pitts, and he's making an amazing catch for the first. Come on. Now, at this point, all we got to do is run the ball, get first downs, and this game is over with, and Bijan is getting that first. They start stopping the run. Third and 10, and I'm stepping up in the pocket. Now, I'm going to take it myself to get this first down fighting, and luckily, I did not fumble. And in my first game, we went 10 to 7. Not too much offense, but hey, we did what we needed to do. I was 7 for 18, 150 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. That's a terrible completion percentage. Bijan had 14 attempts with 81 yards, no touchdown, but he'll probably get one next game. I had four rushes for 31 yards and my touchdown. And like I said, Cal Pitts is gonna get the ball. Four catches, 101 yards. Hey man, get ready to see a lot of Cal Pitts. 
Now, we did win in the first game, but I have a lot of things I need to work on as a quarterback. I mean, I know how to run the ball. I know how to do read options, all that stuff, but that's only the running part of being a quarterback. I need to be able to pass the ball better, make better reads. Sometimes I need to learn how to check, take my check downs, and that's what we're doing here. We're learning how to take the shorter routes, not always go for the deeper routes, because in college I was, <laughs> I was basically bombing every single play. So coming into the NFL, you know that the pass rush is a lot harder. The cornerbacks play a lot smarter and all that stuff. So you got to be a lot better, a lot more sharp as a quarterback to be able to win games. And we did beat the Panthers, but that's another rookie quarterback over there. We got to win this next one. And in our second game, we got to play against the Packers. And Jair Alexander texted me before the game, talking trash. And I'm not going to disrespect him. I'm not going to praise him. I'm just going to go ahead and intimidate him. We're going to see what he got in this game. This is my second game. Let's ball out. Packers start this game scoring. I'm throwing this down to B. John, and he's getting the hit. Good thing he made the catch. My bad. Sometimes I don't read the pocket well. I see the pressure's coming off the right side. I should have went up the middle to throw this ball to Kyle Pitts, but I throw running to the right. It's inaccurate. On third and four, I'm just throwing this down to B. John Robinson, and he's going to catch this ball and break the tackle getting down the field with the first. Then on second and five, I'm scrambling out to the right side, trying to get this ball to Kyle Pitts, but this ball was not placed right, so the DB got a good play on the ball. Trying to pass the ball to Kyle Pitts hasn't really been working, but it's working here. He's running the cross route, and I'm throwing the ball perfectly. He's making a great catch. Running the ball against the Packers has been a real struggle. Bijan can't really get the first down. He's getting tackled six yards in. It's third down. I'm trying to just throw this ball quickly to Bijan. I didn't even see Kyle Pitts on the right side. He was open, but it ended up being incomplete. We got to kick the field goal. Well, we did not score because they did not kick the field goal. Down 14 is there. I'm trying to escape the pocket, but that defensive tackle just chased me down and got a sack. Really trying to get better on third downs, and I'm finding my number one target, Kyle Pitts, again, open on the first, getting it. The Packers' pass rush has really been causing a lot of pressure. I'm scrambling out to the right side and somehow completing this pass. That's a great catch. Less than 30 seconds left in the second quarter. We really want to score. I'm trying to get this ball deep down to Kyle Pitts, but I did not see that safety. He almost caught that pick. On third down, we got two people crossing, so I'm throwing this ball to Drake London, but I did not see Jair back there just lurking around, and he caught a pick on me. That's my first thrown pick of my NFL career. While walking back to the bench, coach stopped me real quick. Just let me know, don't be too hard on myself. It's just a freaking mistake. Third quarter now. We're still down 14-0 and on third and seven. I did not see that receiver open for the first down. I'm just throwing the ball out of bounds. Defense got another stop now, second and 10. I see the hole open up in the middle. I'm taking this and I'm running, getting the first down and going for even more. Two people missed the tackle and I'm going all the way for my second rushing touchdown in my career. Right, now the Packers decide to get a field goal down 10 points. I see Kyle Pitts running a little cross or whatever. He's getting his first down, getting past the 50. Running the inside zone with Bijan, and he's bouncing out to the right side and fighting for the first, but he couldn't get it. Now on second and two, I'm being patient. The O-line is blocking great. I'm running to the right, throwing this ball up the field to the receiver that ran up, and that's a big play, getting us in the red zone. We have to score on this drive, and Bijan is running and fighting, trying to get the touchdown, but he gets tackled on the floor. Running the ball was not working. Now it's third and goal, trying to pass the ball to Kyle Pitts, and I'm not able to get the ball to him. That's defense. Down seven points. Defense got another stop, and on second and 11, I'm just getting hit on my blind side. Third and 13, and Kyle Pitts is wide open, and I overthrow him somehow. That would have been a big first down. Now we got to go for it. Fourth and 13, if we do not get this, the game is over with. I can't find nobody. I'm just throwing it down the field to Kyle Pitts, and he's not able to get it. It's two defenders. That's game. We are now 1-1. One one. We lose this game by 10 points. This game, I was 8 for 18 with only 130 passing yards. No touchdowns in a pick. I mean, at least in rushing, I was 2 for 80 with a touchdown. But I got to be able to make that pass to get that first. And Kyle Pitts could have had a way better game if I was just more accurate. Only 3 for 65. Now, through these two games, there's obviously a big problem. I mean, we're 1-1, one one, but that first game was just... Me being bad and Bryce Young being bad. We lost the second game because I was inaccurate. 
And I mean, it's pretty obvious. There's multiple things I need to work on really, really badly. I mean, there's things like learning how to move around in the pocket so I don't really get sacked as much. Being accurate on big plays like that one that would have got us the first down. We probably would have scored on that drive. And even sometimes the decision making or just being able to see the field. There was a lot of throws that I missed that would have got us first downs. But instead, I'm throwing the ball out of bounds when it's wide open receivers. But only time can tell as I get better throughout the season to see how our offense can really be. And I'm going to have to put in as much work as I can because we got too much talent on this offense for me not to be benefiting from it. And in week three, we got the Lions who got a very great pass rush. But the DBs aren't that good, so we'll see what happens. Off the rip, the Lions have a touchdown and we're getting into this run game. We need Bijan to be very good against teams with good pass rushes. Remember what I said about how good they pass rush is? I'm trying to scream out to the right side, but Aiden Hutchins is on me, and I'm still completing this pass to the sideline. Now, on second and nine, there's a blitzer coming off of the edge, and I'm still able to fit this ball in. That's a great catch. First and ten, I'm stepping back in the pocket, and I don't see nothing to open, really, but then that pass rush just comes in, and I'm getting sacked. I can't be sitting back in the pocket for too long, especially against this pass rush, so I'm just dumping this down to Bijan, getting a couple yards. Third and 13, and I'm trying to step up into the pocket, but Aiden Hutchinson is just everywhere. He gets a sack. I mean, we got a field goal, but they got a field goal back in on first and 10. Look at the pass rush. Look at, like, I'm trying to run, but I can't. On second down, I drop back into the pocket, and it's not even Aiden Hutchinson this time. It's a whole nother person getting a sack. Third and long, trying to run a read option to throw them off, probably, but they played the running back, and they played me. Now we're down 17-3 in the third quarter, and as I'm throwing this ball, about to get the first down, I get hit, so it's inaccurate. Third and six, I'm dropping back into the pocket, stepping up a little bit, and just throwing this quickly to Bijan, who breaks the tackle, getting the first down. I love him. If we want to be able to win this game, we have to score on this drive, and I'm just not able to get the ball out because these pass rushers just own me. We're going back to the read option on third down, and it's actually going to work this time, and I'm trying to get the first, but I'm not able to because the safety came down and made a great play. On second and 10, Drake London is across the middle. I'm trying to fit this ball in, but two defenders there shouldn't have thrown it. Now on third and 10, I see an edge rusher coming off the left side. So I'm scrambling out to the right side, trying to throw it to the left. And that was really not a good pass. It could have been picked off. Our defense is really trying to keep us in this game. And I'm finally being able to get this ball to Kyle Pitts, who's making a big play, getting around 50. Now we're going back to the read option on second down. But this linebacker then caught up to me and did not let me get that first. Third and three, running a play action, and Drake London is doing a crossing route. Nobody was guarding him, and it's an easy first down. We have to score this drive. On second and three, play action, running out to the right side, and I'm throwing this ball, and the guy hit me after the ball was out of my hands. So we got the first, and we getting extra yards on that because of the rough and the pass. Let's go. All right, now we're going to run this ball on first and go, and Bijan is diving in for a touchdown. His first rushing touchdown of the season. I right, man, defense got to stop. We're all the way backed up, and I'm getting sacked again, pushing us even farther back. Third and 10 on hour six, and I'm really trying to get this first down, so I'm just going to go ahead and scramble, but I'm not able to get the first down. There's too many defenders around. Man, Devin's got another stop. We're only down seven points, so if we score here, we're good, and Drake London's making a great catch. That was a little overthrown, and he still made it happen. Now running the ball with Bijan, and the blocks look great, and he's getting this first down, juking out a defender, pushing forward. On first and 10, Kyle Pitts is running a drag route. He's wide open. No one even near him. I'm throwing this ball to him, getting a big first. On second and six, I made a big mistake. I kept on walking back, but that DT was coming off too, so I really should have stepped up so I wouldn't get sacked from this far back. But then on third and 17, receiver going on the left side, and I thought I put this ball on the money, but that defender deflected it. And then fourth and 17, the same route I thought was open again, and that defender broke on the ball again. It's another loss. It really be the small things, especially as a quarterback. We lose by seven points. Nine for 15, so a little bit more accurate, but 142 yards. I got to be able to get to 200. No touchdowns either. Bijan was 10 for 56 with a touchdown. Kyle Pitts, three for 63, no touch. We're going to get better throughout the season for sure. And now coming into week four, we got the two and one Jags. We're one and two. Come on, man. Now this is indeed another team with a pretty decent pass rush. And I'm trying to throw this ball to Drake London, but there's a defender there standing in the way. Out of all the times that we keep on getting stopped in these games, our defense just keeps on staying strong. They stopped the Jaguars from scoring, and B. John's trying to get this first, but he's short inches. 
second and inches. Probably should have just ran the ball, but we're in a play action. I'm walking over to the right side, and I'm trying to throw it to a receiver on the left. Guy in my face couldn't really get that accurately. Finally decided to go ahead and run the ball on 30 inches, and of course, we're getting it. Bijan fighting. Now on second and six, and Kyle Pitts gets open across the middle, and guess what happens? Of course, I overthrow him. But then somehow, on third and six, I end up getting a hit, throwing the ball, and still completing it towards the sideline, and he's getting down the field. First and goal, you already know. We got to go to Bijan, running the ball up the middle, and he's getting that touchdown. Defense being great again. And I see Kyle Pitts over the middle, but I overthrew him. That would have been a die. I know he was going to catch it. Now, because of my inaccuracies, it's third and 11. I'm scrambling out to the right side. Defense is all over me, and I just got to throw this ball out of bounds. Now, this right here might be my worst read yet. I tried to force this ball in all them defenders, and luckily, it was not picked off. Second and 10. I see this DT pushing in on me, so I scrambled out to the right side. I thought I was gone, but that defensive end caught me. Now it's third and 16. I keep on stepping back, waiting for that receiver to get open, but I just threw it up and it was deflected. Still down 7 to 10 on first and 10, running the play action. I'm trying to throw this ball to Drake London, but it's a flag on the play and it's a defensive pass interference. That is perfect. First and 10, dropping back, and I'm just going to run up the middle because there's a hole there, but there's a linebacker just chasing me down. Still got the first and more. On third down, Cordero Patterson beats the DB that was guarding him. I'm throwing this ball to him, scoring my first passing touchdown of my career. Now we're up 14 to 10. Defense got a big stop, and we're running the read option. I'm getting down the field, getting the first down, trying to get out of bounds. On second and seven, I made a great play, running up this gap, and I'm throwing this ball to Drake London over that linebacker. He was not expecting that. That's perfect. Then on first and 10, I see Kyle Pitts running a post route. He's open. Nobody guarding him at all, getting down the field for the big first. Then on second down, I'm scrambling out to the right side, and I see Jonu Smith open, and he's fighting for this first down. And y'all already know, running this ball with B. John Robinson, and he gets another touchdown. All right, man, they scored this time and got three-point conversion, so it's only a three-point game, and I'm going to go ahead and use my legs and go down after getting the first. I got to be real smart here. We're only up three points, and it's the fourth quarter. I'm taking the check down, a little drag, getting the first. Trying to run the ball with Bijan, and we're getting amazing blocks. He's getting his first down. Now we just got to try to burn as much clock as we can. Yeah, I said what I said, but Coach wanted us to go for the pass, go for the tug here, and Kyle Pitts is wide open, beating all them defenders for a touchdown. What a great game here. We win 28-25. to 25. They scored at the last second. I was 9 for 18, 159 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. I guess that's the type of quarterback I am at the moment. Bijan with 15 for 72 yards and two rushing touchdowns. Those were big. And then Kyle Pitts with three catches, 83 yards, and a touchdown. We're not 2-2, two and two, but I need to tighten up because right now our defense is playing amazing. There's seventh in points allowed, but we are 27th in offensive yards. We're not getting any yards. And just look at how good the defense is. And for week five, we got a very, very interesting matchup here against the Texans. It's going to be rookie QB versus rookie QB. And after these last couple games, I'm nuts. I'm ready for this one for real. We have to be able to win this game. I can already tell this is going to go down to the wire. With me being as mid as I have been in this season, we're going to need Bijan to have a pretty big game to have a chance at winning here. His last week, he had 15 for 72 and two tuds. He's going to probably need another multi-touchdown game. Second and form, we're going right back on the ground because why wouldn't we? He's fighting for that first down and he's getting it. Trying to pass the ball here on first and 10, but they lining up coming off and somehow I did not get sacked. I avoided it, ended up throwing the ball out of bounds. Then on second and 10, again, I'm trying to scramble because I see people coming off that line. I'm trying to pass the ball. That probably wouldn't have been a good pass. Good thing the ball was thrown to the ground. Passing the ball has not been working at all here, but finally we get Kyle Pitts over the top, just killing whoever was guarding him, getting us down the field. That's a big play that we needed. Now, second and goal, of course, we're going to run this ball with Bijan, and he's going to have to try to fight to get this touchdown, but he ends up on the one-yard line. Y'all know we're going right back to him. Like I said, on third and goal, he's running this ball and fighting for this touchdown, and somebody pushed him in. It wasn't even one of us that pushed him in. Tud, though. The 
run been working so far, so we're going right back to it. And Bijan's fighting stiff arming somebody and pushing forward at first down. Run the ball again on second down, but instead we're doing a re-option. And Jalen Petrie knew what was going on. He got me before I got to the first down. Trying to pass the ball on third and one, and I completely messed this play up. And I threw the ball behind the line. Kyle Pitts had to run back for it. Fourth down. All right, now defense got to stop, but we are all the way backed up, so we have no choice but to run the ball with Bijan. They got the third down, and I'm trying to throw this ball behind Drake London, but yeah, the linebacker was there to play that. They are up three points, now I'm dropping back, and this defensive tackle got off that line and I, when I tried to run up, and I ended up getting sacked. Second and 17, I'm trying to cook up a dot, and I do just that, but Kyle Pitts dropped that ball. He almost made an amazing play on it, but it's incomplete. Third and 17, second quarter's coming to an end, so I'm going to go ahead and give Drake London a chance at this ball, and he catches it, but he gets hit when he gets down, so it's incomplete. Third quarter now, we're down three points, and I'm just hitting Kyle Pitts over the top a dot, and he's taking a hit, still making a great catch. First and 10, I'm dropping back, and I see a hole open up, so I tried to go ahead and get up there, try to get the first down, but that D lineman came off the block and tackled me before I got out. On third down, I try to do way too much. Try to cook up something that I cannot cook, and I end up throwing a pick that shouldn't have been thrown. I probably should have just tried to throw a little shorter pass, try to get a field goal, but I got greedy. Defense held them to a field goal, so we could still score here to take the lead, and I'm trying to get this first down, short one yard. Then on third and one, I'm dropping back, trying to find something. The hole opened up, I tried to take it, but all of them came off the block at the same time for a sack. I don't know what happened. Defense might have got a pick and got all the way down here, but we're here and we're just going to run this ball in with Bijan. Easy touchdown. Hey. CJ Stroud responded with a touchdown of his own, but they did not get the two point conversion. I'm throwing this dot to Drake London all the way down the field. That's a big play. No, I'm second down. Bijan's going here and run this ball, taking the right hole, juking the defender, breaking the tackle, and he is just fighting for this first and goal. There's 22 seconds left in this game, and I'm stepping back, and I see a hole open up. I'm going here and taking and score a touchdown to take the lead. Now we're trying to go for two, and I'm targeting my best receiver, and Drake London just dropped that ball. I don't know if it was the defender that, that caused that or whatever, but he should have caught that. Now the Texans have less than 20 seconds and three timeouts to try to score a touchdown here or a field goal. Hopefully we can win. And of course, C.J. Stroud goes down the field and scores a touchdown to win the game. That's tough. Losing the game like this is never good, especially when I only threw... 15 passes and had 127 yards and a pick, no touchdown. And CJ Stroud was doing his thing with 342 yards and three touchdowns. Bijan tried his best, 18 rushes for 80 yards and two tugs. And the leading receiver was 76 yards from Kyle Pitts. I only had 127, so that's a lot of yards. Losing the game like that is never easy, especially on a rookie who is trying to change the culture on a team like the Falcons. And honestly, that game was all on me because I had to be able to pass the ball. I can't rely always only on the run. I can't just rely on one receiver. And since the first game of the season, like my coaches, even my dad had called me and let me know that after watching my film that... He realizes that I've been I focus in on one receiver too often. I need to scan the field. I can't just be honing on one person because that's how the defense can see that in me, and that's how they end up stopping me. Another thing I need to get better at is not only having to use the read option to get yards. I need to be able to move around in the pocket, try to find the gap, and take it as soon as I see it so I can use my legs to get yards and get first downs I wouldn't have gotten. Because with the amount of talent that's coming into the draft class next year, if I don't play good and I don't get us at least eight wins and stuff like that, I might end up getting my spot taken because of how much talent's in the draft class for rookies, rookie quarterbacks next season. So I'm going to have to definitely tighten up for real. And I'm ready to lock in. I'm especially ready to lock in, especially when somebody's talking trash to me like Jonathan Allen. We're playing the commanders this week, and I'm going to go ahead and intimidate him because I know that we can beat this team. They have a pretty good defense, great D-line and everything. But I'm confident in winning this game. I'm ready. And one of the biggest things is they come into our house. And I'm not finna lose here in Atlanta against the Commanders. They might have a great defense, but their offense ain't better than ours, especially with our potential that we got. 
Let's get into it. We starting off this game real aggressive. I'm throwing this ball straight to Kyle Pitts in between them zones. He's taking a hit, but he's still making a big catch. First and 10, I'm going to be hitting Kyle Pitts again, wide open, getting a big gain again. Kyle Pitts been doing everything this drive, so I gave him another chance to go ahead and go up for this ball in the out route, but there was two defenders that someone came behind him and hit him. Third down, and Kyle Pitts ain't in the game, but Jonu Smith is, and he's making an amazing diving grab to get to the one-yard line. Y'all already know what time it is, running this ball on the one-yard line, and Bijan is getting in for an easy touchdown. Commanders responded with a touchdown and on second down. I'm going to and throw this ball out to B. John. He's breaking the tackle, fighting for this first down, but he's not able to get it. He's short inches. 30 inches, and we throw him off by not running the ball here, and I got Kyle Pitts wide open on the post route. He's juking out a defender. That's a big play. Our under center plays have been pretty good. I'm running the play action. I have Drake London wide open in the middle of the field, making a great catch. Now we're getting to the run on first and 10 to the left side and look at Bijan getting that first down. Running the play action this time, I'm scrambling out to the right side, but this defensive lineman is chasing me down. One thing they got is fast linemen everywhere. Then on third and 17, I'm going for this touchdown. I see Cordero Patterson beat his DB and he's in there for a tug. Defense got to stop, and this is when we got to take advantage and try to score here. And I'm breaking a sack, trying to get out, but yeah, man, more people came in. Payne got a sack. Third and 14, I'm holding this ball for way too long. A D-lineman comes in and hits me while I'm passing the ball, and that ball goes straight to the defense. They're already on this side of the field. This is terrible. And because of my pick, we are in a tied game in the second quarter, and I'm scrambling out to the left side because there's so many people coming at me. Had to throw the ball out of bounds. Now on second and 10, I'm going to go ahead and give Drake London a chance at this ball. It's one on one, and he gets out, ran to the ball, so he couldn't catch it. Now on third and 10, I drop back, see a hole open. I just take the hole, and I'm trying to get this first down, but it's too many defenders. Defense got to stop again, and on first and 10, I'm scrambling out to the right side. I don't know why the camera ain't following me, but I made him miss, and I'm getting this big first down. On first and 10, I try to do the same thing, try to scrum out to the right side, but they edge rushes just so fast, I just cannot beat them to the outside. Second and 12, and Kyle Pitts is on a real route, and he gets wide open down the field. That is a big pass. Now we in the red zone. On second and seven, dropping back. I see a hole open. Y'all right now, I got to take this, and he misses the tackle. I'm stiff arming this DB to score this touchdown. Up 21 to 14 now, his defense got another stop, and B. John's running a stretch play. Juke now defender, but he ran out of bounds after that. He could have got so much more yards. Dropping back on second and 10, I see Drake London in the scenes one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm testing that. Throwing that up to my number one receiver, because I trust him like that. Big catch. Now on first and 10, we're running the read option. They bit on the option, and guess what? I'm taking this all the way home for a touchdown. Great blocks, great everything. Touch. We winning this game by 14 points, but we are not done scoring. I got a wide open receiver in the middle of the field, but I overthrew him. That ball was almost picked off. That would have been bad. On third and nine, they DT came off that double team so fast. I had to scramble out to the left side, and I somehow found a way to get this first down. I'm just like that. Running the ball with Bijan on second and three, and them blocks are just amazing. He's getting down the field. I know we are 14 and we should really be running this ball, but after what that the trash they were saying before the game, yeah, we not going for none of that. We trying to win this game by a lot more points. So this might be our last drop, but we're going to go ahead and try to score. And Bijan's running this ball hard, getting the first down. Bijan running the ball again to the right side, and he tries to get to the edge, but they linebackers just end up getting that tackle. Third and goal, dropping back, and I see the gap, so I'm going ahead and run up the gap. I'm breaking the tackle and scoring another touchdown.
We for sure put on a show here at home, beating them 35 to 14. Now that was a game. Definitely our best game of the season. 10 for 17 with 231 yards of touchdown. And that pick was a throw out of sack. So it is what it is. And rushing-wise, I had seven attempts for 95 yards and three rushing touchdowns. That's crazy. Bijan, 17 for 82, also with a touchdown. And Kyle Pitts went crazy. He ain't scored a touchdown, but five catches, 144 yards. Cordell Patterson did score that. And at the end of the day, it's a competition. Jonathan Allen at the end of the game saying good game and everything, as long as he know what time it is if he talk trash again. After having an amazing game versus the Commanders last game in Week 6, we're coming into Week 7 against the Buccaneers. And I'm ready again. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm on a pretty good roll right now. I've been doing a lot better than I have been doing for the first couple games of the season. Let's go ahead and win this game. Buck started the game off with a touchdown. We're in a play action. I got a wide open receiver, but I just completely overthrow him. I got to get better at hitting wide open receivers. For some reason, I can hit the contested ones, but I can't hit the open ones. Now, Satan 10 running the read option. I'm handing this ball off because they played me. And just go ahead and look at this beautiful run. Remember what I said about the contested and the open throws? Look at this beautiful back shoulder fade to Kyle Pitts. That defender didn't even know where the ball was getting a big first. That's a dot. Trying to do a read option, and I'm trying to take it. And they played both of us. They played the running back, and then they killed me. Good thing I did not fumble. Second and 10, Kyle Pitts wide open on a drag route, getting him this ball. He's getting the first down and breaking the tackle, finally getting taken out of bounds. And here we go again with my inaccuracies. A wide open receiver that probably could have been a touchdown, but I just overthrow him completely. That's just not good at all. But then I kind of make up for it on this next play, throwing this crossing route to Kyle Pitts. He's catching it and getting to the five. Trying to force the ball in with Bijan, but he's only able to get to the one yard line. Now, this was definitely not a smart decision at all. We tried to pass the ball on third and goal, and I couldn't even see myself on the screen for some reason, but I'm going to say we got to go for three. Tie game because defense got a big stop. Second quarter finna come to an end. We got to try to get a field goal here. And I'm overthrowing him trying to throw the ball out of that hit. It was not complete. Second to 10. I'm throwing a little quick pass to Kyle Pitts. And he's taking a big hit. But he's still catching the ball. Getting that first down for us. First and 10. I'm dropping back. I see a hole open up. So I'm taking it. And I'm trying to get this first down. But I slide right before it. Second and inches. Y'all know how I am with trusting my number one receivers and my tall receivers like Drake London throwing this ball up and he's not able to come down with it though. He got to be able to come down with it, I ain't going to lie. Third and inches, probably should just try to get the first down, but I'm trying to go for the home run throw and I'm getting a hit while throwing this ball to Kyle Pitts and he's getting hit in midair. He couldn't come down with the ball. Play action on first and 10 and I'm throwing this ball to Drake London, but it gets overthrown and he makes a great play catching this ball, getting a big first down. First and 10, and Vita Vea is coming through the middle, so I got to scramble out to the right side and throw this ball out of bounds quickly. Third and three, we need a die, and I'm getting one, throwing this ball to Jonu Smith in the seams, and he's taking a big hit, but he still held on to that ball. On first and 10, we're fooling him with this read option, and I'm getting an easy touchdown. The run has been working amazingly in this game. We're running the ball again with Bijan. Just look out. Look at the blocks. Look at the run. This is amazing. Tried to run the ball again, but it's not working on third and 10, though. Throwing this crossing route, and he's catching it, getting a big first. Going right back to the run, and the blocks are amazing. Bijan's getting another first down. Now, on first and 10, we got a little play going on, and they got confused, and Kyle Pitts is wide open, catching this ball, getting in for an easy touchdown. Up 24 to 10, and it's third and 13, and I see Kyle Pitts one-on-one -on -one with a safety yard. You know, this ball is going right up to him, and he's making an amazing catch, getting a big first down the field. We might be up 14 points, but this game's not over. We got to keep running the ball, and Bijan is doing just that. He's having an amazing running game right now. Third and seven, we could run the ball, but we want to score again. And I'm seeing Kyle Pitts open, and he's stopping at the perfect spot to catch this touchdown. Hey. 
We had another amazing game. We beat them 31 to 10. I was 12 for 20, 262 yards and two touchdowns, no picks. This is probably my best passing game. And Bijan had an amazing game on the ground. 14 for 124 and a touchdown. And Kyle Pitts, seven catches, 178 yards and two touchdowns? Just imagine having him and B. John Robinson in fantasy. Crazy. And after that amazing game from B. John, he wants to get the ball a little bit more in the next game to prove himself that he could be that guy. So, you know what I got to do. I got to give him that ball. In this game, we playing against the Titans. And honestly, I don't think they got nobody for B. John. So, yeah, we're going to give him that ball. Now, the only problem in this game is the fact that Drake London, our number one wide receiver, will be out of the game with a quiet strain. Let's see what happens, though. But even with Drake London now, I still got Kyle Pitts. I'm hitting him in the scenes. He's making an amazing catch getting his first down. First and 10, going back to our bread and butter, our read option, and look at Bijan breaking tackles, fighting forward for that first down. Second and goal, and I said, I'm getting Bijan this ball. And I see a little opening, throw this ball to Bijan. He's making a great contested catch, scoring the touchdown. Running the play action, running out to the left side. I'm trying to throw this ball to Kyle Pitts, but I cannot get it out. I get hit. Now on second and 10, I get a little too aggressive trying to throw this post route, but it almost gets picked off. That receiver played defense. I thank you. Then on third and 10, I'm trying to force this ball into Kyle Pitts, trying to get it over that DB, but I was not able to. Ball got swatted. Down 7 to 10 now, and I see Kyle Pitts open on a crossing route, and I'm throwing this ball to him. He's making a good catch. That ball is thrown perfectly between them zones. On this play was like one of the best blocking I've ever seen from our offensive line. I got to step up in the pocket and deliver this dot getting down the field. I love blocking like that. First and 10, running a play action. I see this receiver coming across the field, and I'm trying to throw this ball to him. I had to lead it up a little bit because there was a DB to the right side. It was a little inaccurate, but still completed. Satan and going, why would we not run the ball with Bijan? He's getting an easy touchdown. That's his second of the game. Titans responded with a touchdown of their own, and we're running this ball again. And Bijan is breaking tackles and fighting forward. That boy's going crazy. Less than 40 seconds left in the second quarter, and I'm going to go ahead and run this ball myself trying to get this first down. I need Bijan to block him, though, but I'm still getting a good amount of yards. I kind of tripped over his foot. We still good. Call time out. On first and 10, I'm doing the same thing again. There's a hole open up, wide open. I'm taking, I'm trying to get this first down, but there's two defenders. They make me be second in inches. Third and inches, dropping back. There's a blizzard that gets right past Bijan. I'm breaking that sack, and I'm going to go ahead and get this first down. I got run out of bounds before the time was at one second left. We got enough to tie this game up before the second half. 17 to 17 in the third quarter. Cordero Patterson running a deep crossing route. He beats that defender. I'm putting that ball on the money. Big first. First and 10, I'm breaking another sack, but then there was two other defenders that ended up hitting me. It's a good thing I ain't fumble. Now it's second and 16, and we need a play to just get down the field. I'm throwing this ball to Bijan. I don't know how I got that ball to fit in there, but that is a dot. Third and three now. Ouch. Third and three run the play action. I'm going to go ahead and take it upon myself to get this first down. Just running out to the first down, running out of bounds. They got us to a third and eight, and Mac Hollins is open on this drag route. He's catching the ball and breaking some tackles, fighting for it for that touchdown. Of 21 to 17 now, and Kyle Pitts, I'm trying to get this ball to him, and the defender ended up throwing his body at him midair and making him drop the ball. I'm second and 10, dropping back, and I see a hole open up, and I'm taking it. I'm running this, getting the first down, even more than just that first, and I'm sliding. I want to score there, but I ain't risking it. Now, I'm first and go running the ball with B. John, and he's running this in and scoring his third touchdown of the game. First and 10, I look like Cam Newton on this play. Breaking this tackle, getting the first down, breaking another tackle, breaking another. I don't know how I broke all them tackles, but yeah, that was kind of crazy. 
on first and 10. I don't really see nobody open for real, but there is a wide open hole for me to go ahead and run to, but I did not run at all. I just kind of stood there and only got five yards. Second down, Cordell Patterson wide open in the middle of the field, getting a big first. We getting another touchdown this drive. Y'all already know who gonna get it. B. John, look at the blast. Look at the running back vision. Getting his fourth touchdown of this game. He's going crazy. Another great game from us. We went 38 to 24. Only threw 16 passes, but I was 10 for 16, 191 yards, two touchdowns, no picks again. I ran seven times with 105 yards. And B. John had 15 for 71 with three rushing touchdowns. Our leading receiver this time was Cordero Patterson with three catches and 86 yards. Kyle Pitts with only three for 48. But B. John did end up with that one receiving touchdown, so he had four touchdowns tonight. And after that amazing game from B. John, he's letting us know that he's him. You know what I'm saying? And he is. Now, week nine game against the Vikings, it looked like it's going to be a very offensive game as it's already 7-7. And our offenses are both looking pretty good to start off this game. Now on first and 10, I just waited for Bijan to get out on his route, threw him the ball, and he made this defender miss completely. He got in there for a touchdown. I don't know what this defense is on right now, but they got us the ball down the field already, and Bijan is trucking his way through to get that first down. We got a running back like Bijan, who's probably the best running back in the league right now. You just keep on giving him the ball, he's gonna get you where you need to go. I said this is going to be a very offensive game, yeah, only on our side because our defense is playing amazing and our offense is playing amazing too, so yeah. And mind you, it's still the first half with time to spare and we get another touchdown. And we still ain't done up 28 to 10 in the second quarter, it's third down, but I'm throwing this ball deep down the field because I'm trying to get some more points. First and 10, Kyle Pitts running the corner route, and he's catching the ball. He does not end up getting a touchdown, but we right there. You already know what it's going to. Bijan for the easy touchdown. I mean, it was just dominance from the beginning. I ended up getting taken out for the whole second half, and we still end up scoring 45 points. This game was crazy. I didn't throw a single incomplete pass, 269 yards, and two touchdowns. That boy Bijan went crazy with three rushing touchdowns, but just look at Cordero Patterson on the receiving yards. 175 yards? Ridiculous. We 10 now against the Cardinals. This is a game that we definitely should not lose, and I somehow found a way to get this ball to the receiver, even with that linebacker being right there, and he made the catch. We threw them off with this read option on second and 10, and I'm getting an easy touchdown. Walk in. Then I finally decided to play some good defense. Got to 30 and 10. The edge rusher got the edge and sacked me. It's really crazy. It don't matter how good the Cardinals defense is playing, their offense can't do nothing. Kyle Pitts wide open and he's way too fast. Touchdown. Third quarter up 14 to 7, trying to get the run game going here in the second half. And Bijan's getting tackled, not gaining no yards. Now on third and 10, I got to cook up a little dime. I'm waiting patiently. The old line is blocking amazingly, and I had to run out to the right side and still end up throwing this dot. He did not get the first down, though. We going for it, of course. Now, fourth and one, we could have ran the ball, but instead, we threw them off a little bit doing the passing play, and I got that right to my number one target, Cal Pitts. Now, I'm saying to go trying to run the ball, and B. John's not able to get into the touchdown. He's getting tackled. He gained a little yard, though, I think. Now, on third and goal, I tried to force the ball into Kyle Pitts, but that linebacker was sitting there, almost picked the ball off. Luckily, he ain't got no hands. We ended up getting three, they ended up getting three, so we're still up seven points. The old line made a clear hole in the middle of the field, so I took it in. I ended up fumbling when I was on my way down, but they called it back because I was on the ground when the ball came out. Now, it's less than two minutes left in this game, and all we got to do here is just run the ball with Bijan, and yeah, it's basically over. Like I said, ain't no way we lose this game. It was close, but still came out with the win. Now, accuracy-wise, ain't, ain't, I ain't had too good of a game, but I ain't throw no turnovers, and that's really what matters as long as you win the game. Bijan didn't score a touchdown this game, but he almost had 100 rushing yards. And Kyle Pitts went crazy, 107 yards and the touchdown. 
I mean, we're in a big division rival matchup here against the Saints in the first quarter, and we're down 14 to zero already. And that's mainly because their defense has been amazing. But here, I finally get to fit this ball into Mac Hollins, and he somehow made that catch. That's an amazing throw. We further up the field, run the ball with Bijan, and look at him get gone, getting the first down easily. Then on second down, running tight end, attacking Kyle Pitts is wide open. They got a linebacker on him. I mean, we're down eight points because the kicker missed the field goal, and I'm throwing this ball to Mac Hollins again. And I kind of let it a little bit ahead of him, so he had to make a great catch to get the first. And then I'm going right back to him here on second and seven on the corner route to the back of the end zone. Die. Basically been playing catch up this whole game down 17 to 13. This is when we take the lead and I'm able to get down the field after that hole was just left by the O-line. Great blocking. It's crazy how good this O-line has been so far. I'm able to step up in the pocket and deliver this dot to Drake London who makes a great contested catch. First and 10, I looked at Drake London this entire route because I knew he was going to beat that DB on that post route and he does just that, getting the first. Now we ain't got too much time here so we either got to score or throw the ball out of bounds. Tried to get the ball to him, but ended up going out of bounds. We kicked the field goal here. I'm in third quarter now. We're down one point. This is the drive where we take the lead. I'm able to break that sack somehow and almost get the first down, third and inches. You know, third and inches, instead of running the ball like they thought we was going to do, we run an RPO, slant, first down. Now here in the red zone, third and four, handing the ball off to Bijan. He's getting the first down, but he's not able to get the touchdown. Why not? Just go ahead and hand it right back off to him so he can go ahead and get his touch. I mean, it's a tie game, 24 to 24 in the fourth quarter. There's no room for error, and I'm throwing that ball over the defense to get a big game. Now here on second and three, I don't see anybody open, so I'm gonna go ahead and create my own play, use my legs to get to the right side, wide open field to get the first down and get out of bounds. Then on first and goal, of course, we handing this ball off to Bijan, and he's getting a touchdown, fighting for that. The Saints just will not stop fighting and I almost got sacked on this play and somehow found a way to get the ball to the receiver He came back to it. Thank you for getting that cow pitch I'm second down and we don't got no choice but to go ahead and go for the Hail Mary and because this didn't even work We got to go to OT and well, we end up getting the ball first But the guy fumbled on the kick return and they end up getting an easy field goal to win the game Wouldn't say I had a bad game. Wouldn't say I had a great game. Definitely could have been better though Bijan had 87 rushing yards, but two rushing touchdowns. And this was Drake London's game, 127 yards, no touchdown. But it was ruined because we lost an OT. Now playing against the Jets in week 13, and we got to bounce back this game. After losing that game the way we did, we can't lose this one. On this play, I saw Cordero Patterson, who's 6'3", with a little 5'9", DJ Reed on him. So I expect him to be able to get up there and catch that ball. But DJ Reed played that amazingly. We find ourselves down 14-0 again, just like last game, but this time it's in the second quarter, and I somehow found a way to fit that ball into the receiver, Drake London, who made a great catch. So far in this game, we haven't been able to get the run game going, but here on this play, Bijan's making defenders miss, getting amazing yardage on this one play. Now we're in like a bunch formation, running verticals, and Kyle Pitts is open to the back of the end zone, and I'm getting that ball right to him, toe tap, touchdown. Third quarter now, and the defense then got to stop for us. We're only down seven points, and Bijan is going to take this all the way home for six. Down three points now in the fourth quarter, and I'm seeing Mac Hollins open. I'm leading him up the field, and he's going to gain a big play. On first 10 win, the formation we normally don't use. We got Bijan blocking and Tyler Algier runs in for a touchdown to take the lead. Defense gets another stop. So here all we got to do is get some first downs and the game's going to be over. We get this first down here, but he got out of bounds. So we still got to go. We in the red zone now and Bijan's running the ball. Stretch play to the left side. He don't got to score, but you know what I'm saying? For the fantasy on this, he scored. Like I said, man, we needed this bounce back. We won by three points, but hard five victory. It's crazy, we're out here winning games. I don't really got to be slinging that rock for real, but if I need to, I will. As long as Bijan is having games like this, there's no reason for me to be throwing that ball. We could just hand it off to him and let him do his thing. In this game, Drake London was the leading receiver. Kyle Pitts was the only one to score a touchdown, though. 
We're having a pretty good season now. We're eight and four leading our division. And with that record, we have the second seed. I'd like to win every single game so we can, you know what I'm saying, probably get the first. Got division rivalry here, so we already know that defense is gonna play hard, just like the other division rivalries, and they, you know what I'm saying, they showing it already. And on third down, I ain't trying to set up for no field goal, getting the ball to the receiver, and he's picking up this first down. Like I said, we're not going for no field goal. Hand the ball off to the best running back in the league, and he's getting that touchdown. Defense held them three points, first and ten run to play action, scrambling out to the right side and connecting with Drake London for this big first down. Trying to run the ball in second and ten, but that's not going to work. They've been playing pretty good run defense so far. Now it's third down, and the old line and opened up a big hole in the middle of the line, and I easily get that first down. On second and one, the old line created this wide open hole for me to go ahead and run through, but I'd rather just throw the ball to Bijan, get the first and go. Now this time, I'm going to go ahead and take the hole, scrambling up the middle, and I end up getting hit by two defenders. I can't risk that. Could have fumbled. Trying to run the ball up the middle, Bijan ends up getting tackled behind the line. It's third and goal. But that's cool, though, because we're going right back to him on third and goal, and he's getting a touchdown. Now we up 14 to three. I'm stepping up in the pocket. Amazing blocking in this game. And I'm throwing a dot to Cal Pitts. Then on second and 10 run to play action. I don't see nobody open really. I should have gave it to the guy who was on a drag route. I ended up taking the sack. Gotta be simple. I gotta do better reading the defense on this play on third and 14. I did not see that DB blitzing. And they got me for another sack. Defense got my back though. They ended up getting a stop for me. And now it's third and four. I'm running to the right side of the field, throwing this ball while going out of bounds and connecting with that receiver for the big play. On second and goal, trying to run the ball. B. John Robinson almost able to get this touchdown, but he ended up getting met there and he got to the one. Going right back to him, just like we always do. And this time he's getting in there. Yeah, man, they offense just wasn't ready for this game. We went 21 to 3. I didn't throw a single pass and touchdown because I didn't have to. Didn't have to because Bijan had all the touchdowns in this game. Three rushing touchdowns. But not only that, he also had the most receiving yards in this game. Crazy. Week 15 against the Panthers, another division rivalry game. I'm finding Mag Hollins open on the crossing route, which is perfect timing because if I would have got sacked, it would have been a safety. If it's one thing about this division, the fact that every team has a pretty great defense, if we end up getting locked up on this drive and Brian Burns gets a sack. If we're gonna win this game, we gotta do what we've been doing and let Bijan cook, cause he been cooking this season. But somehow we just keep on finding ourselves on third down. I'm trying to get the ball to the receiver, but I end up getting hit. It was a throw out of sack, incomplete. Fourth down again. The defense is great, but their offense is very mid, so we still have a chance to win this game. And I'm getting hit while throwing the ball to the receiver, and he still made the catch. A great drive down the field on first and ten. Cal Pitts open on the corner route, throwing that over that DB touchdown. Third quarter, we're up 7-3 on first and 10, running the read option. I ended up getting tackled, and when I went down, I was slow to get up. And when I got tackled, I ended up falling on my right wrist, and it ended up being sprained, so this could definitely have me out for a couple of weeks. Luckily, though, even despite my injury, we were still able to win this game. In the time that I played, I was 7-11 for 11 with a touchdown. Based on his previous games, this wasn't really a B. John Robinson type of game, and Kyle Pitts had a touchdown, but not too many yards. Now, when I went to the medical staff, they actually told me that the spring wrist will actually have me out for a couple of weeks, and so I won't be able to play into the playoffs. But it's not all bad, though. We're going into playoffs. We're 12 and 5, so we still have the second seed. And in the first round of the playoffs, we have to play against the Eagles, the stacked team. I still think we got a pretty good chance here, though. I mean, it got to be a reason why they was the seventh seed. Now, coming into me and B. John's first playoff game, we're definitely looking to put on the show. Even though I'm coming off an injury, I still think I can do this. Eagles start this game off with a touchdown, and here on second and 10, I'm finding Kyle Pitts on the corner route for a big play. Mac Hollins has been a very good receiver so far, and I'm finding him in the back of the end zone on the corner route for a touchdown. He's been great. When you're playing against a team like the Eagles, who have an amazing pass rush, if your run game is good, you're going to be good. And look at Bijan getting going, and he's going to score this touchdown. What a big play. We 
looking too bad right now. Defense isn't getting a stop. I see a wide open hole, so I'm trying to take him. But them defensive players then came down fast and then getting me before I can get to the first. On third and six, surprisingly, our O-line was able to hold them off for so long that I was able to find an open receiver to get the first down. But that was called back because of a holding penalty. And then because of that, now on third down, I had to wait a little bit long, get the D-line in up breaking that double team, and got me for a sack. I am in 14-14 in the third quarter. This is the half where it happens. Bijan fighting for that first down. Second and seven, I'm throwing this ball right to the scenes to Kyle Pitts, and he's making that catch in between two defenders. Now, they run defense has not been great this game, but here, they locked in and got the tackle. Going against a team like the Eagles, it's really hard to score in the red zone. We end up having to probably go ahead and go for the field goal. Coach wanted to be extra aggressive, though. We're playing against the Eagles in the playoffs. We're trying to go for the touchdown, and Drake London could not complete that catch. That DB made a great play. All right, now we're down 21-14. We need a big play here, and B. John's going to do that breaking tackles, making defenders miss, getting a big running play. The running game been working so far, so we're handing that ball right back off to B. John, and he is just, he's just going crazy. Now it's third and four, and I'm going to find a wide open receiver standing there waiting at the first down, and he's picking up extra yards. 40 seconds left in this game. I'm dropping back, scrambling out to the right side. I'm going to go ahead and get it myself, try to tie this game up. I'm scoring a touchdown. Now all we got to do is kick the field goal. We probably can go to OT as long as defense don't let them score in the second that they got. It. And, well, they end up missing the field goal. We lose by one point. First playoff game, I only threw 15 passes, but I completed nine of them with a touchdown, and I ain't turned the ball over. We lost this game, but the running game was crazy. He almost had 200 rushing yards with a touchdown. And then, you know what I'm saying, the receiving yards was kind of spread out. But dang, really, though, that's how we lose in our first playoff game? That's tough. Well, to cap off the season, the Eagles end up going to the Super Bowl to beat the Browns in the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts won Super Bowl MVP. Bijan won Offensive Rookie of the Year, and y'all can see the rest of the awards. I missed about three, four weeks. I don't remember, but I missed a couple weeks, and I still pretty much had a pretty good, you know what I'm saying, stat line. But Bijan went crazy this year. And so did Kyle Pitts. He went crazy with his receiving yards. Could do better with the touchdowns. What y'all think? Y'all think we could be the best offense in the league? And will I be able to lead this team to the Super Bowl?